Qatar is in talks to take part in oil and gas projects in Iraq. Over in Yemen, Qatar is helping with 45,000 job opportunities. Qatar Airways CEO offers some realistic views on achieving net zero emissions. And finally, Qatar Investment Authority injects big into this AI software. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Iraq's oil minister says talks are underway between Baghdad and Doha for potential oil and gas exploration. Hayan Abdul Ghani Al Sawad made the comments at the Qatar Economic Forum in the Gulf State on Tuesday. State owned Qatar Energy has already strengthened its presence in Iraq by acquiring a 25% stake in the gas growth integrated project in Iraq. Now, good news for Yemenis as Qatar will be creating 45,000 job opportunities for nationals, Yemen's ambassador to Doha announced on Tuesday. Doha will be financing small projects as well as supporting permanent development projects to boost employment in the war-torn country. The Gulf state has already contributed millions into Yemen by contributing to the repairing and maintenance of the Aden power station, building schools through education above all, and supporting relief operations. Now, Qatar Airways chief Akbar al-Bakr voiced skepticism on global aviation targets to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. He says there has been inadequate supplies of sustainable aviation fuel, while alternative hydrogen designs are still in their infancy. Al-Bakr further added, quote, Everybody's talking about it, but let us be realistic. There is not enough production of sustainable aviation fuel. And finally, Qatar Investment Authority has led a coalition of investors that have raised $250 million for an AI-powered software company that could change the future of the industry. Builder.ai, the software company in question, has received funding from multiple places, including QIA. Builder.ai software allows its users to create custom-built applications fit to their unique requirements without a user needing any extensive coding knowledge. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.